Hey friends! Welcome back to another Hope Kids. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Darius. And we have a great day planned for you guys today. What are you most excited to see? Mm, I think the craft today. The craft? Oh yeah. I really am excited for the craft yeah. too. I, I think I'm most excited for the game. Wow. I love the games every single week. Yes. They're always so great. Well, before we get started, we should probably pray. Right? Would you like to pray for us? I can. All right, remember to fold your hands and bow your head. Dear God, we just want to thank you for what you want to teach us today. Let us be focused and focus on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, now we're going to have the story. So make sure you pay attention because we're going to have the review game afterwards. Hey, Fede. Hey, Kelsey. So are you ready to hear the story for today? Yes. Do you remember what we've been talking about for like a long time now? <sighs> Okay, I think so. It was about Jesus' life? Yes! Cool, Thank perfect. God. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna keep talking about that today. Okay, yeah? I'm ready. Yes. Alright, so the story I have starts out when Jesus was approaching Jericho. It's another, oh, it's another place. It's, yeah. Know? Yeah, so he was going there. And while he was there, there was a blind man who was on the side of the road. For him? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sad. But the crowds were always following Jesus. Yeah. So the blind man, even though he couldn't see Jesus, he could hear people talking about him. Yeah. And so he realized that Jesus was passing along right in front of him. That's awesome because maybe Jesus can heal, right? Yeah, that'd be super cool. Yeah. And imagine, like, it must be crazy to have Jesus walking right yeah. in front of you. Can you imagine that? I would, yeah, I would be so happy to see him. It would yeah, be, so, it would be cool. so cool. So yeah, this guy heard that Jesus was yeah. walking in front of him. And so, he wanted to receive healing. Of course. Yeah. So, he reached out and he yelled, Jesus, son of David, yeah. have mercy on me. And what happened next? Well, the people didn't really like that. Because they thought, okay, but like, you're, you're gonna bother him, you know? They yeah. didn't wanna bother Jesus. Oh. They wanted him to stick around and they thought maybe if people were annoying him, yeah. then he was gonna go away. That's so sad because Jesus loves everyone, so he wants to be with everyone. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus doesn't get annoyed with us when we want his help. But anyway, the people thought that he was going to get annoyed. Yeah. So they told him like, shh, you have to be quiet. Like, go, like, sit down, like, be quiet. Come on. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't very nice of them. No. But Jesus heard the man because he continued to shout. Yes. So. Yeah, he continued to shout yeah. and asked Jesus to have mercy on him. So Jesus came over to him yeah. and he asked him, what do you want? Like, what can I do for you? Yeah. You know? And the guy said, I want to be able to see. Tell me, please, that he could see now. Yeah. So what happened yeah. was Jesus said, your faith has healed you. He nice. got healing nice. for his sight because he believed that Jesus yeah. was able to do that. And that's it. Jesus didn't have to do it anything crazy. It was so crazy. simple that he just believed and yeah. he could see again. Yeah. That's and it's awesome. simple with us too. Yeah. God can heal us. Yeah. You know, Jesus is our healer as well. And I thought that was really cool. And whenever that's... we have something, yeah. <clears throat> that we're struggling with, Jesus isn't bothered when we mm. pray and we ask for help. Yeah. God loves to hear our prayers. We don't annoy it's him. True. You know? Yeah, so we just have to go to him and it's like, Jesus, this is happening. And yeah. And Jesus is gonna listen to us and And he helps us. Yeah. Yeah. And the really cool thing about the story was yeah. all the people that got to see this happening, they started praising God as well. Wow. Because they got to see a miracle yeah. too. So I think that was pretty cool. That is really awesome. Yeah. Do you have a Bible verse for this? Yeah, I do actually. Okay. So this Bible verse says, Yeah. Jesus said to him, Then see, you are healed because you believed. Wow. And you can find that in the Bible in Luke chapter 18, verse 42. Okay, I think that I have to go home and read the whole story. Yeah. Again, because it's super cool. That is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, do you think maybe we should unscramble the Bible verse first? Yes, I really forgot about that. Yeah. It's all right, let's do it. Hey, Paul. Hey, Kaylee. Are you ready to unscramble the Bible verse? Yes, let's do it. All right, let's see. What do you think it starts with? Jesus! Jesus? Okay. Jesus. I... Jesus believed? No. No? I think it was Jesus said to someone. Ooh, okay. 
Jesus said to him? Yeah. Oh, the blind man, right? Yeah. So, mm. Jesus said to him, Open your eyes. No, I don't think so. I think it was then. See. Okay. Then you. Then you. You are healed. Me. Then. Then see. Then because you believed. No. No. Oh, sorry. Then you. Then, no. It would, it oh, had, then you are healed. Are you sure? I think it's then see. Then see. You are healed. Oh, okay. Then see. You are healed. Because you believed? Yay! I think that's right. You believed. Because that's why he was healed, right? Exactly. He had faith. Yeah. And then that's Luke 18, 24. Yep. Do you want to read it together? Let's do it. Jesus, Jesus said to him, him Then see, you, you are healed, healed because you believed. believed. Luke 18, 42. Good job, Paul. Thank you, Kaylee. All right, guys, are you ready for your first question? Yep. Yes. Question number one. Was Jesus approaching Jerusalem? Yes. We've got two different answers. Derlish, you are correct. He wasn't approaching Jerusalem, he was going to Jericho. Question number two. Was the blind beggar shouting to Jesus so he could be healed? Wow, again, we have two different answers. Derlish, you are correct. Yay! All right, question number three. Did Jesus heal the blind man? Wow, we've got the same answer this time. You guys are both correct. Yay! And our final question, question number four. Yes or no? Jesus said to the blind beggar, your faith has healed you. Correct. So it looks like Derlish has four points and Kaylee has two points. So Derlish is our winner this week. Good job. For today's craft, we're going to be making the man who couldn't see, he was blind, but then he could see because of his faith. For today's craft, you're going to need scissors, some tape, different colored pens, and a black pen, and white paper. So first we're going to take one piece of paper and we're going to fold it over in half. Then we're going to take that and we're going to draw a big face. So like a big U in a way. And then you can connect it around. And then we can fill it in and you can make a neck. Shoulders. And then we're going to make the nose and the mouth, but we're not going to make the eyes. Then once you're done with that, we're going to color it in. Then we're gonna take our tape and we're gonna make it as long as the end, the one side that's opened from where we folded it. And we'll put half of it on one side and half on the other. So you're gonna wrap it around. So 
so that now it's all together. Then we're going to take our other piece of paper and we're going to draw eyes. And try to make it the same size as where you want it to be on the face. And then right above those eyes, you're gonna make eyes that like can't see. So I'm gonna make them kind of like squiggle lines. And then I'll make like circles around them so they look that they haven't been able to see for a while. So you can color the eyes in and you can color around them too. So it'll fit into the face. And then we're going to cut probably halfway through. I'm going to cut to the edge of where we drew for the eyes and the other edge. Make sure that it'll be able to fit inside of here. If you need more length at the bottom, you can attach something at the bottom again. Then. We're going to have our parent help us and puncture the piece of paper and then you can cut an oval out where the eye should be. And then he's, he can't see. And then he can. And then you're done. You have the blind man who had faith. So then Jesus healed him and he could see. All right guys, for the game today, we're gonna blindfold people to see what it's like to not have eyesight, okay? So we're gonna blindfold people and they will have to touch things like batteries or cards on this table and figure out what they are. So they don't know what's all in here yet. All right. So if they figure it out, they win. If they don't, they lose. Okay. Let's try. All right, Fede. Just try and touch things on the table and tell me what they are. Okay. Uh, a marker. Yes. This is hard. Uh, maybe a battery? Yes, correct. Okay. Ooh. A car? Yep. Okay. Oh, this is a mug. All right. There's something in the mug. Ooh. Little balls, like, um, yeah. Mm. Wait. Ooh, this is not like chocolate. It's chocolate. <laughs> okay. And. A biscuit? No. Oh. All right. Yeah. You almost won. Ah, Let's see so the next close. player. Alright, Kelsey. Try to feel stuff on the table and tell me what they are. What is this? Uh, is this a lid? How do you know? Because it, it has lid. the little thing. It is a lid. Well done. Okay. Oh, the second one. Yes. <laughs> you put two. 
Um, is it a battery? Yes, correct. Yes. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Just a little card. Yes. Okay. Can't read what's on it, but it's fine. Is it a pen or a marker? Correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a mug. All right. Oh, there's stuff inside of it. You have little, it's a little ball. Okay. Oh, but it smells good. Is there like, there's nothing on it? Can I eat it? Try. <laughs> okay, oh, there's not paper, it's fine. Oh yeah, that's good. So what is it? It's chocolate. Yay, well done. Is that everything? You found everything. <gasps> yes. Yay! All right guys, we're gonna have a moment of worship with the song, Open the Eyes of My Heart. So you can sing with me and dance with Kate. All right, let's do it. Because I don't have my glasses, so I can't really see. Oh. I'm looking for them. Oh no, oh. Marvin, did you hear that? He's blind. He's blind? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I need a little bit of help. Hmm. Well, can you describe where you are to us so we can try to find you? Um, uh, I think I was in the kitchen preparing some toast. Hmm. And my glasses are black. And oh. like, kind of like a circle. Marvin, hmm. what, what if he toasted his glasses? Oh no! Oh, oh, I don't yeah. think he, he would have. Do you think he toasted his glasses? Ah. Well, if he's blind, you never know what he can do in this state. Ah, mm. uh, uh, I don't know. Please, I don't know. What should I do? I don't know, Marvin. This is yeah. out of my league. I'd say maybe he should pray and ask Jesus to help him find his glasses. Oh. Ask Jesus about finding his glasses. Mm -hmm. Jesus has mm -hmm. more, more, more important things to do than care about our glasses. Well, he does care about it because it's something that we need, right? In order to, we need to see, right? Uh, so, Jesus does care. You really think so? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, God, please. Help me to find my glasses. I really need it. Uh, in your name, amen. Did I work? Wait, yes. Ah. Yes, I found it. It was next to the toaster. So you didn't toast the glasses? No, thanks God for that. Wait. Oh, I can go now with you guys. 
Give ah. me a second. Zora, yeah. come on. Zora, oh. you found them. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh, that's great. Well, this is good. So now that Arthur's finally here, should we play a game, guys? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, please. Should. I have a great game in mind. You want to know what it is? Yes. What? Tag to it. Oh, oh my old things. I can't run anymore. Get out of the way, Marvin. Oh, oh Marty. Wow, I had such an amazing day. It you? was really good today. What was your favorite part? I think it was actually the worship. Really? Oh, yeah. I really I like loved it. the worship, too. I'd say my favorite part was the game. It was Ooh, so good. Nice. Yeah. All right, so now we should probably pray to close up. Yeah. So remember to fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this amazing day, and we thank you that we could learn so much more about Jesus and how he was able to heal the blind man. And I just pray that we'll be able to walk out faith every single day. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, so now we'll see you guys next week for another Hope Kids at 4.30. Goodbye!